Okay, hi everyone. I uh, just wanted to give a quick tutorial on how to take some of the beautiful environments inside the Apple Vision Pro, like the Mount Hood Lake here, and uh, do all the wonderful things, like get a reflection of your big giant drive-in movie theater on the water. Because uh, myself and many other people have ended up in the situation where they're like, hey, you know, I've opened up, uh, say, I don't know, like the uh, the Disney Plus app, and I've got a movie, I've got like Coco playing, you're not going to see it because it's going to be blocked for DMRM content. But, you know, pretend the movie's playing, and you're like, okay, I want to put it out over the water, and you try to make it as big as you can, and then you go grab the handles, and you're like pushing it out, and you're like, go on, go be on the water, and you never quite see the reflection, and it never feels like light is being cast onto here, and that's because this is a feature that only works directly through the Apple TV uh, Plus app, unfortunately, and it's a little bit weird, too, because what I'll show you here is um, if we go an X out of here, and then we go and we open the Apple TV Plus app, we can see there's something like Avatar Way of Water. Now, this is something that is also on Disney Plus, um, but it doesn't actually say that it needs to launch in Disney Plus. It just says I can resume it. And so if I go ahead and I say resume and play in 3D, for example, you're not going to see the content again. But watch what happens, though. There's another option here when you're in the Apple TV Plus app. See the little environment icon in the upper left? So I'm going to click that, and then it says watch in current environment. So I'm in Mount Hood. I could do the light version, the dark version. The cinema version is also quite nice, but let's stay in the current environment. And it's going to go out onto the water. You can see the reflection in the water right now, and it would also, you know, be casting light and all that if, if we were playing the movie right now. So this is kind of the the way to get it to feel like the, the screen is actually immersed um, in the environment. And, you know, if we wanted to, we could go and now... Uh, I click the my home button once and it just comes back here, but I can also click it again and go and change the environment to another one, let's say Joshua Tree, and just to show you, you know, same idea here, I could now say, let's watch it in Joshua Tree in the light environment, and it pops out to the right place, and you'd actually see all the light casting over the rocks, which would be great. Uh, however, if I were to go back and say like, well, gee, I really want to watch Coco in this way, uh, you know, Coco looks great in 3D, um, and I'd love that kind of drive-in movie theater effect, you're kind of out of luck because over here in the Apple TV Plus app, if I search for Coco, it's always a, a guess of like, is it going to be faster or slower to type it versus say it? So Coco, movie 3D. Uh, the problem is that it says here that it needs to launch in the Disney Plus app. There's, there's no way to do it directly through Apple TV. So as soon as I say resume, it's actually doing it in the Apple TV Plus app and I don't have the ability to bring it into that environment. Long story short, if you want things to cast properly in your environment, do it through the Apple TV app. Make sure that it is not making you launch an external app, and you should be good. All right, hope that's helpful.